Hi everyone, welcome to Permanent Records with Mark. Uh, this week I'm going to do another live albums episode. Why? I love live albums. And also I have a lot. So this is going to be stuff I've gotten on Record Store Day. Let me tell you, one of my favorite holidays of the year is Record Store Day. Only followed by Black Friday Record Store Day. I love Record Store Day. I know there's a lot of people out there that are like, I don't like it. And they bitch and complain and whine. I like Record Store Day. I'll wake up at 5 in the morning and go all the way down to Pompano to a record store just for Record Store Day because I like some of the things they have. One of the things they always have are great live albums. So let's start off with DRI, The Dirty Rotten Imbeciles, live at the classic CBGB's Club in 1984. This is before they became more of a crossover thrash band. And... It's one of their best albums. This is all their punk stuff. It's a 40-minute album, and it's got 40 songs on it. A lot of these songs are under a minute. Amazing album. This was from their Violent Pacification Tour, and it came on this beautiful white vinyl. This was only released on CD and VHS, but now they have it on vinyl, and I love every minute of it. Second one back from Record Store Day 2010 is Jimi Hendrix Live at Clark University. Only four songs on it, but it's a great Jimi Hendrix live album. Here's my thing, though, about Hendrix. I love Hendrix. Hendrix did a lot for music. He did a lot for guitar playing. Hendrix releases at least three albums every year, it seems. I mean, he, I mean he's been dead for almost 46, 47 years, and he releases albums every, his estate, rather, releases albums every single year. They just flood the market with them. If you're a diehard Hendrix fan, I can understand. I kind of got to agree with Zach Wilde, who said, you know, the next one's going to be him opening a bag of chips. Let's move on to, I actually saw this tour. Jimmy Page and the Black Crows. This is a great little album right here. Okay? It's a three... This set is Jimmy Page and the Black Crows. It's mostly Led Zeppelin and a lot of blues and classic rock standards. Because the issue with their label, they couldn't get any Black Crow songs on it. It's an amazing set, really. Um, and I saw this back in on, it was on my birthday, as a matter of fact, I saw this concert. Great concert, great live album. This sounds great. Um, next on the agenda, Mud Honey, live on top of the Space Needle. Mud, now, for their 25th anniversary of the band Mudhoney and the 25th anniversary of Sub Pop Records, they decided to do a live album for Record Store Day, and they recorded it on top of the Space Needle outside. Uh, there's probably only about 25 people here. Okay, this is probably the live album with the smallest crowd. Mudhoney, to me, is one of the best grunge bands, one of the best bands come out of Seattle. They're very underrated. Them and the Melvins. No one ever talks about the Melvins. No one ever talks about Mudhoney when they talk about grunge, which is a shame because, you know, Nirvana's great. Pearl Jam's great. Soundgarden's great. But these bands are great, too, and, you know, would you give them a try? Last but not least, one of my favorite record story purchases ever. I'm a huge Clash fan, and I'm a huge fan of the Pogues. And this is Joe Strummer Live with the Pogues. It's a two-album set came out in Record Store Day 2014. This was recorded live in London in 2000, and, sorry, rather, 1991. Right after um, Shane McGowan left the Pogues because he was Shane McGowan and just couldn't tour at the time. Joe Strummer stepped up and took over and started touring with them. And this is an amazing album. Uh, it's peppered with some Clash songs in there, done in the style of the Pogues. And it's great. It's a great album to listen to. Um, it's a double album set. And both albums are on this beautiful red vinyl. That didn't come out right, but it's on beautiful red vinyl. And if you could ever pick it up, I suggest it. This was only released one time on a CD on a 30th anniversary box set. And they released it for Record Store Day on this beautiful vinyl set. So, what do you think? Do you like Record Store Day? Do you like live albums? If you like this, please subscribe. If you want to leave comments, please comment below. Thank you, and have a great day.